Falcon Dam was started in 1950. It was finished in 1952. We were going through a horrible drought at the time. But then all of a sudden the river started rising. When they, uh, in 1952, they, when they finished the dam, they closed the floodgates. They said, okay, the lake is going to start forming. Everybody has to leave by October 1953. You have to leave your homes by then. Well, they didn't count on the fact that sometimes uh, we can get sudden rainstorms. So guess what? In June 1953, there were huge rainstorms, and the lake started rising, and it cobbled up the first village, Lopeña. And so people had to leave their homes only with the clothes on their backs. A lot of turmoil in history, but the people all uh, coped with the situation and survived. And all the way up until the, uh, you know, even the uh, early 1950s when they built the dam in 1953 when it was completed. Unfortunately, the federal government came in and, and forced the individuals out, gave them a a price for the land that was 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 nowhere as near the value of re, re, relocating up here in New Zapata. Mm -hmm. so according to the property that you had in Old Zapata, they were the government was going to give you the the same, if not better, because it was a little larger than the property in Old Zapata. A lot of people didn't agree with that, but of course, the old timers never believed what happened. But it did, and I guess it wasn't happening, this progress still are, because for the fact that they uh, lost some of the land along the river, because they didn't believe it was going to happen. And it did happen very fast. Like the, uh, the people from Zapata uh, got a raw deal, if I may use the, uh, the term, because of the way that we were treated and the way that. Uh, the amount of money that we got for our property. All right, why don't we just start out then with them? Uh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be thinking that I am an original person from here, you know. Because I'm only here for 40 years, a lifetime to some people, but you know the fact being what I know of history is is from uh, individuals that experienced it you know, firsthand. You know, and to me, um, oral history sometimes is more important than written history. Because written history you can take and you can vary it just with some words and you can get a different meaning. Oral history coming from the old timers. I mean, that's, that's, that's fresh from their minds and, and their experiences. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it probably never been recorded, which is sad, because a lot of it has been lost now forever and everything. But, uh, uh. And it was very interesting and very, a lot of fun for the fact that uh, we were right, mm, maybe like, a, I was like about 70, 75 miles from the river, the Rio Grande River. And that was our daily uh, recreation. And they had these beautiful big trees. We used to put a rope and then uh, just plunge in the water on the river. And it was very safe. And we would just start swimming. I mean, learn from each other. That's what I said. Well, we didn't have. Uh, we walked to the to the Rex Theater. We walked so high and it was so hot. We, were, we just couldn't see the movies and barefooted. Then, of course, uh, being a small town, I mean, the main street downtown. So uh, we just walked everywhere, and um, it was great. And of course. Time came that uh, the announcement was uh, said that uh, there were going to be a lot of dam there. Uh, uh, late 40s, early 50s, we found out uh, that uh, 
uh, Falcon Dam was going to be constructed and that uh, the town of Zapata was going to be covered with water and that we would have to move. Uh, and uh, they, uh, the government appointed some real estate people from different places, different uh, cities to come over and put values to the buildings, houses, uh, land, everything, and, uh, and we would uh, get paid the, uh, that amount of money. Now, the, uh, 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 the bad thing, and of course this doesn't happen anymore, uh, the, that goes under the eminent domain law. Uh, the eminent domain law uh, it, it states that whenever uh, land, uh, assets, whatever, are needed for public, for the betterment of the people, then uh, they can acquire them. They can, they can, uh, they can, they can buy them. So uh, the. Uh, the way it should have been, and the way it is now, is that whenever the government uh, buys uh, a property, especially a building that has to be constructed again, they pay you replacement value. In other words, uh, what, would, what would it cost to build a new building? to build a new house, to build a new business, like in our case. Uh, so uh, uh, the, uh, the government uh, really treated people from Zapata unfair. There's a lot of history here that a lot of the people that lived through the turmoil of all that period of time have stories that's probably never been even documented that would make some of the written stories look awful tame in relationship of their own personal experiences. But uh, I always tell everybody that you know if you want to get kind of a feeling of the history uh, is to go down in the cemetery. And uh, it's kind of interesting on the point of view that all those graves were moved from the original town site. So that meant that there was not only the turmoil of being forced out of the houses and the places where you lived, but your loved ones that were buried in the ground also had to be moved up to higher ground. So there was a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, emotional conflict that was involved in situations like that. Things like that happened, you know, during those years. And, um, Then, of course, uh, uh, in 53, when uh, they started the lake here, I mean, that it was going to be. But before that, they had, uh, they had everybody, uh, every resident from Old Zapata, to go to the courthouse and see what the outcome is going to be of the new town. It was, uh, it was very unfair because, uh, because we did not get uh, replacement value for our for our property. So the end result is is that when a dam was built and the water came up, there were a lot of people that that was uh, that were displaced because of the water coming up through the houses and over the properties. Those that weren't believers that it would happen became believers. Uh, in Mexico, in uh, Old Guerrero, that was also covered with water. Old Guerrero was a, a, a city that was across the river, across the Rio Grande from Zapata, from Old Zapata. Now in, in, their, in their case, the government came over and they measured the houses, the buildings, and they, the government, built a new house, a new building for the people in New Guerrero, where the town was moved. So really, the people from Mexico got a better deal than, uh, than we did here in the United States. So from the dam, which created a lot of 
panic, you know, in all the different town sites from uh, Little Peño and, and uh, of course, Old Zapata, Gran Moreno, Old Guerrero, all the way up the long line to Falcon. So all these locations had to be relocated to higher ground. So it's, and of course, with that became the lake and then the turmoil since that time because the lake has not been an established shoreline lake because it goes up and down very rapidly with right. the with the drought conditions and the seasons of time. Right. Unfortunately, uh, we did not have the power, we did not have the resources to, uh, to, uh, uh, to fight the government. But anyway, we were satisfied because we went up four miles up. And uh, the land was, I mean, the land was more modern, of course, as the years went by. And, uh, and we, just, we just had a very happy, normal life, you know, Zapata. Um, what is the town of Zapata? And how, um, how, where did it get started, and, and and what became of it? So, if, if you could just remember, yeah. yeah. we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.